The Bachelor of Creative Arts Visual Effects and Entertainment Design is a three-year course offered in conjunction with Flinders University and CW Studios. It gives students a really unique opportunity to study with industry leading professionals in every class. We really focus on offering the, the practical components of learning art, design, 3D modeling, 3D animation, and really pushing their work to become industry ready by the time they finish the course. When you look at visual effects and entertainment design, there's the VFX side, which is a little bit more film and, and Hollywood oriented, but there's also entertainment design, and that's where you start looking at video games, at animation. It's a field that moves so fast. The unique strength of the Flinders University and CDW Studios partnership is that you get all the benefits and, and knowledge and life experience that you get from a university education combined with cutting edge modern skills that are relevant the day you leave. I came across CW through high school. Ever since that day I was like, that's what I wanted to do. I'm coming here for uni. That's it, nothing else. It's everything that I've always been wanting to be engaged with. There's all this kind of art and design and film production, game production, and it's all that industry stuff that I've always wanted to know about. It is a big process coming from another country, but it's a very small price to pay for the quality of study that you get here. After the first semester finished, I was mind blown by how much work I had done and how much I had achieved. It has been so helpful, like I found myself improving so much, so quickly. There's this good vibe of creativity and you know, it's just fun to bounce ideas off others who have really similar interests, like everyone here is interested in games or sci-fi, so it's, it's sort of like a mecca for anyone who is interested in that kind of stuff. We really want to have students learning from the best artists they can, from people that are currently in the industry. And I think that breaks down a lot of those barriers. It breaks down a lot of the mystery of, of how people do this. I think the reason I like teaching is because it was very frustrating for me growing up. I remember being a student and it was difficult to get someone to teach me how to do the things I wanted, which was to draw fantasy art. I want other people to be able to do that because I think the more art is out there, the better art is out there, the better the world will be. There is nothing in our environment made by people that wasn't drawn at one point or another that actually drawing is the fundament of civilization. Being able to do that is kind of the means that you touch and you use one of the magics that makes everything work. CDW is different because it is determined to give you a good folio. That's the most important thing when you're doing a course like this is can you do what's required of you? And that's what an art director will be looking for, that's what freelance clients will be looking for is you know how to answer the brief, here's the work. When I'm working in 3D, there are kind of technical elements that coincide with the artistic side. You, you feel like you can kind of touch a, a 3D model because um, there is like a physicality to it. Oftentimes when I'm um, sculpting or modeling something, I, I can kind of feel it in my fingers, like the textural feeling of a surface. The sort of person that would like 3D would be someone that has a passion for really pushing themselves that likes problem solving as well as being creative. A person that really has dedication. I started off focusing heavily on 2D. And now that I'm in second year, I've realized that I no longer want to work on 2D. I've actually changed streams to be a 3D artist. And I'm really following the whole creature design, modeling, and I want to get into games and film. I honestly cannot explain how excited I am to continue working on this and develop my skills further in the field. I am a lead character artist working in the game and film industry. I have a huge passion for essentially rubber monsters. I was born in the 80s and raised on a steady diet of horror movies and comics. So I want to show you guys how I design monsters, characters and creatures for games and films. My teaching style is trying to give you the tools that you need to get the job done. Basically, what are the ways that we can best communicate 
a character or creature to the audience. The thing I love most about our industry is uh, the mix of tech and art. I'm a technical artist rather than an artist who's technical. I'm a gadget guy, I love gadgets, and I love giving people the tools to create, and I love giving people the chance to, to experiment. No one gets it right the first time. We give you the chance to actually kind of fail along the way to make the project a success in the end. What I find enjoyable about world building and, and working in modern real-time game engines is just the, um, the instant feedback that you get when you're working on a project. There's, there's really uh, no waiting around. You can just look down and be like, I want some more grass here, I want some rocks there. Uh, and you can just throw it in and you've got like a, a level or like a place that looks nearly real. It's really satisfying when the next week the student comes back and they've gone way beyond what you initially taught them and they've just yeah, they've, they've done something really amazing. There's something about celebrating the excellence of one another that's separate from just pure competition. And together in a pipeline, together in a classroom, together in a partnership, we are all so much stronger than we would be as individuals. If you're looking at studying at CW Studios and Flinders University, and if you'd like to get a career in visual effects or entertainment design, get your work together and apply now for the course.